our little vampire over here got a pretty big set of changes, aimed to buff her bruiser on hit build and nerf her lethality build. First up, her passive healing used to go up to 50% based on missing health, now it starts at 40%, but increases from 3% bonus health, so it's going to be a lot bigger in late game with a tankier build, I want up to 91% increased healing here. Also, the tick rate of the passive bleed got doubled, it doesn't do more damage, just does it faster, so you have a damage tick every 0.5 seconds instead of every 1 second. Next up, big changes for Q. It now scales with AP2 and its magic damage instead of physical damage. The 10% to 20% shred it did for armor now also shreds magic resist too, and it now applies on hit effects and lifesteal. So if you go with a Trinity Force build, she hits a lot harder with this. For her W, the healing as a percentage of the damage dealt is lower, but it now scales with her max health. 5% of it, so the healing will be a lot stronger if you build a bit tanky, but the recast bonus damage can no longer crit. So yeah, this is to stop the full lethality hail of blade with Yumus and the collector super squishy build and push her more tanky bruiser build instead. The lethality build is fun though, but maybe a bit too strong and it was weird to play her like an assassin and be so squishy, so maybe she'll play better now with a bit more health and the on hit damage and a ton of healing, at least she'll survive longer in late game and not get one shot by a mage with storm surge. But let me know what you think about the changes, leave a like or I'll bite you, and thanks for watching. Meow.